हेलो स्टूडेंट कैसे हैं आप सब उम्मीद है आप सब अच्छे होंगे और आज टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट चैप्टर फर्स्ट द थर्ड लेवल ऑफ योर क्लास ट्वेल्थ दैट इज बाय जैक फिने सो दिस स्टोरी इज अ ब्लैंड ऑफ फिक्शन एंड रियलिटी वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग स्टोरी एंड इट इज ब्लैंड ऑफ फिक्शन प्लस रियलिटी Uh, it also expresses man's desire to escape from the realities of life and the charlie is the main character charlie is main character of the story so it the story is basically about the time travel about time travel it is about time travel and it is an interesting topic a topic of movies and fiction and we we see that the uh, uses of machine and especially design vehicles to travel into past and future and on the basis of time travel there are blockbuster movies like time machine harry potter and the prisoner of azkaban one of my favorite movie x men avenger and game 2 2019 uh, you must have seen so this is about the time travel and uh, if we talk about the story so here uh, there is a third level in the story and charlie is the main character or charlie Uh, one day reaches the third level of the grand central station what happened he reaches grand central station third level of grand central station that is in new york new york city so he find finds himself in the previous century so he finds himself in previous century whether the incident is real or a hallucination is a topic of discussion what i used the word hallucination what is the mean of this word i'm writing the spelling of this word hallucination okay so the meaning of this word is a conception a conception or you can say that uh, a conception or image created by imagination or having no object reality okay an experience uh, involving or apparent perception of something which is not present uh, for example during these uh, period of madness she experienced a uh, hallucination very frequently hallucination that is not in real ठीक है कंसेप्शन यू कैन सी ओके सो लेट्स मूव फॉरवर्ड जेक फिने इज द राइटर और वी कैन से दैट ऑथर ऑफ दिस स्टोरी सो इफ यू टॉक अबाउट द ऑथर जेक फिने ही इज एन अमेरिकन ऑथर नोन फॉर साइंस फिक्शन एंड थ्रिलर्स ही वाज बोर्न इन 1911 a number of novel short stories and plays he has written uh, two important novels if we talk about written by them these are the body snatches and the time and again okay okay so if we talk about the summary of this story so this story is the third level is a story of an ordinary 31 year old new yorker he lives in where he lives new york and the name name of his charlie so this story is basically the third level is a story of an ordinary 31 year old new yorker one evening after uh, working for a long time he was exhausted and desperate to reach home as his wife louisa was waiting for him he decided to take the subway from grand central station okay grand central station he took that way like many other new yorkers he was wearing a tan gabardine suit and a straw hat with a fancy band here i use word gabardine what is the mean of this word gabardine it means a smooth or you can say that durable okay if we use this word in sentence we can say 
he appeared on a stage in a light blue gabardine with suit uh, with tight pants and pointed black shoes so let's move forward so there are two level in the grand central station there are the two level level first and level second okay so he finds another level the third level who finds charlie finds so he walked down to the second level from where the uh, suburbans trains leave he lost his way as a as a station had many doorway and the corridor at time charlie fancy that grand central station was growing like a tree pushing new corridors and staircases like the roots with new tunnel growing under the city so he walked alone through a corridor angling left and slanting downward the tunnel turned sharp left and went down a short flight of stairs and come out of third level at the grand central station so where he finds himself third level there were fewer ticket counter so what he find fewer ticket counter okay uh, and information booth was looking old fashion as well as information booth they were looking old fashion so the lights were dim and flickering to his astonishment he found that they were open flame gas lights there were brass spittoons on the floor people were old fashion dresses and 1890s he saw a man pulling out a gold watch from the waist pocket to check the time men wore fancy mustaches beards and sideburn he also noticed a small courier and small courier and uh, locomotive curry locomotive with a funnel shaped stack on the rail track he walked over the newsboy and glanced at the stick a stick of paper kept at his feet it was the world which was gone out of print the date printed on the paper was june 11 1894 date was June eleven, eighteen ninety four. Keep in mind, okay. So we went to the ticket counter to buy two tickets. Uh, he went to the ticket counter to buy two tickets of the Galesburg for himself and his wife Louisa. He imagined Galesburg of eighteen ninety four. Women waving palm leaf fans and men smoking cigar and talking quietly. He wanted to go back to the city, which was not yet affected by the two world war. The ticket clerk figured that fair. Charlie counted the money, but the ticket clerk noticed his new bill and told him that he tried to cheat him. He would he uh, he would be landed in jail. The bills in the cash drawer were old style bill. Charlie turned away and got out as fast as he could. So. because he was not in the present time eh? so he was not having the current currency that's why the clerk thought he is try he's trying to cheat him so charlie narrated his bizarre experience to the to his psychiatrist friend sam the name of his friend is sam he was a psychiatrist Next day, he withdrew all his saving and bought old style currency worth two hundred dollar. His friend Sam, as well as his wife Louisa, was really worried for his strange behavior. Sam opined that Charlie was hallucinating. According to him, it was a waking dream with fulfillment, as he was unhappy with the present world, which is the full of fear. This is the most important line you have to keep in mind. That I am repeating again. According to him, it was a waking dream with fulfillment, as he was unhappy with the present world, as he was unhappy with the present world.
with the present world which is full of fear war worries and he just wanted to escape from it his wife advised him not to look for the third level anymore but he wanted to look for it so according to charlie according to charlie's friend even uh, his hobby stamp collection was a temporary refuge from reality he inherited a huge collection of stamp from his grandfather so here charlie wondered if stamp collection was a temporary refuge from reality so why his grandfather collected stamp things were quite peaceful in mind after a while charlie stopped looking for a corridor leading to the third level but sometime mysterious happen but sometime mysterious happen his psychiatrist friend sam suddenly disappeared nobody knew where he had gone and then what happened sam disappeared so one night charlie was inspecting his stamp his stamp collection or he came across a first day cover that someone had mailed to his grandfather at their home in galesburg the postmark showed the date july 18 1994 it was showing july 18 1894 it had a dull brown 6 cent stamp with a picture of president gafield he opened the paper inside the cover he was sent by the psychiatrist friend sam who had sent by sam so sam was successful in finding the third level and buying a ticket to galesburg so sam was successful in finding uh, that third level that his friend was talking about charlie and buying a ticket to galesburg he had been there for 2 weeks who sam so sam had been there for 2 weeks he was enjoying his life there charlie found that sam had bought 800 dollar worth of old style currency from the stamp and the from the stamp and the coin store the sum was the sum that was enough for him to start a to to start a hay feed and grain business in galesburg so this was the story the third level old fashioned and he thought that he might have been in a, a different world and when he came to the home his wife and his friend called that he, he it may be his conception misconception and at the last later charlie came to know comes to know that Sam brought eight hundred dollar worth of old currency. He knows that Sam always wanted to escape from the current po- uh, profession. Charlie hopes that Sam will happily settle in Galesburg in the brain business. In the end, Charlie reveals that who is Sam? He is Charlie's psychiatrist friend. That was the story about the third level. So let's talk about the correct sketch of Charlie. Let's talk about. character sketch of charlie so who is charlie charlie is 31 years old he was living in new york he is an ordinary man living with his wife and wife name is luisa he desired for life of peace and serenity desire for a life of peace and serenity desire to escape from the modern world which is full of insecurity fear worries and war i'm writing here 
he's having desire to escape from the modern world which is full of insecurity fear worries and war here dreams to leave he, he always wants a uh, dream to leave a uh, saint's life in gilsburg as well as it is not clear if charley is a mentally unsound person it is not clear if charley is a mentally unsound person okay let's move forward and charlie believes in the existence of third level he believes in the third level the existence of third level he believe whether charlie is journey to the third level is a real or figment of his imagination is a subject of discussion okay this was the about correct sketch of charlie i hope you got every point so this was the story and have you ever had any curious experience which other find harder to believe if you had this type of situation do comment and let me know thank you so much have a good time